How do I know if a deer tick is engorged? Well, that's pretty easy if the tick is quite engorged. Uh, they're so fat uh, that they can't walk. Uh, you see that black shield behind their head. It's just that if the tick is smaller, hasn't been on very long, it is difficult to know if there's blood in that tick. Sometimes you can tell by squashing the tick, some blood will come out. But I don't trust dating a tick, saying, well, that tick's been on 12 hours, 24 hours, 36 hours, because there's, there's not much evidence. That much of the tick uh, coloring and size stays the same. So I don't feel I can trust uh, determining the level of engorgement. Therefore, when it comes to treatment, and if someone says they have an engorged tick, it's very difficult, even as much time as I spent with ticks, to be sure that important uh, fact is uh, understood. So I can't be sure that a tick is not engorged. I have to make clinical decisions about where the tick... I have to make clinical decisions on how long the patient reported the tick was on, uh, what are the symptoms at the time, is there a rash present, uh, and uh, make those decisions.